up on Midco Sports tonight, we recap the past five years of the historic Dakota Marker game. Then our expert panel is in studio to discuss the best moments from this rivalry. Then it's high school football picks for semifinal action in both North and South Dakota. Jason Andera and Jody Norstead bring in some special guests to give their input. And finally, we're talking hoops. We preview Midco SN's first live basketball game of the season, exhibition play between Concordia Moorhead and NDSU. All of that plus much more, Midco Sports Tonight kicks off right now. Hello and happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm Kelly Stewart, and this is Midco Sports Tonight. Well, Wednesday is our list reveal day, and with it being the historic Dakota Marker Week, our list topic is exactly that, specifically the story of the past five years of the Dakota Marker game. So we'll start on November 10th, 2012. In a game that would ultimately decide the Missouri Valley Football Conference title, the top-ranked Bison came out on top of a defensive battle in the Fargo Dome, beating SDSU 20-17. Now, NDSU actually never trailed in this contest, taking an early 3-0 lead off of an Adam Keller field goal in the first quarter. Later in that first frame, the Jackrabbits turned the ball over deep in their own territory and NDSU used it to their advantage, cashing in on the first play as Brock Jensen hit Kevin Vodlin for a 24-yard touchdown pass. SDSU would tie the game up at 10 before halftime on an Austin Sumner to Brandon Hubert touchdown pass with under three minutes left in the second quarter. But moments later, still before half, the Jacks recovered a fumble on the ensuing kickoff and converted it into a field goal to tie the game at 13. Keller drilled a 30-yard field goal in the third, and NDSU put the game out of reach late in the fourth with the help of two costly SDSU penalties, scoring on a three-yard touchdown run by Sam Ojuri with under three minutes to play. 2013 saw the Dakota Marker game played fairly early in the season, September 28th to be exact, held at Coughlin Alumni Stadium. Top-ranked NDSU controlled the line of scrimmage and the clock, blanking sixth-ranked South Dakota State 20 to nothing in front of just under 16,500 fans. But the scoring was hard to come by in the first. It was 0-0 after quarter number one, but the Bison would put seven on the board in the first drive of the second quarter. The Jackrabbits had no answer for NDSU's defense in the game, managing only nine first downs and 124 yards of total offense. The game was locked at seven, nothing until the fourth quarter when NDSU put it away with touchdown runs by John Crockett and Brock Jensen. Fast forward to November 1st, 2014, three years ago today, actually, NDSU was again ranked number one heading into this contest and scored on five consecutive second half possessions to pull away for a 37 to 17 victory over SDSU at the Fargo Dome. SDSU would actually score first in this one after picking off Brock Jensen in NDSU territory and turning it into a field goal by Justin Sirovatka. But after two NDSU field, goal, NDSU field goals, South Dakota State would take a 10-6 lead heading into the halftime break when Austin Sumner hit Jake Winnicky, we all know that name, a redshirt freshman at the time, on a 42-yard touchdown pass. But NDSU would start the second half with a bang, going 88 yards for a score on 12 plays. North Dakota State led 20-17 after three quarters and would explode for 17 more points in the fourth capitalizing off of two late SDSU turnovers and turning them into 10 points. An early Dakota Marker game in 2015, this one was played on October 3rd, and S NDSU sticking to the game plan that had proved successful in the past years. A strong defense and a vicious running game. The Bison would score on the opening drive of the game and push that lead to 21-0 going into halftime after two second quarter scores. Taking advantage of a short field, North Dakota State put the game out of reach early in the third quarter on a 27-yard touchdown run by quarterback. Guess who? Carson Wentz. SDSU would avoid the shutout late in the third when Dallas Goddard hauled in a 26-yard touchdown pass from Zach Lujan. But the Bison were victorious in front of 17,348 fans at Coughlin Alumni, 28-7. And finally, the most recent Dakota Marker game, October 15th, 2016 at the Fargo Dome. This will be the closest contest of the, of the past five years and also the only time SDSU came out with a win in the past five matchup. The Jacks scored on a two-yard touchdown pass from Taryn Christian to Jake Winnicky with a single second remaining on the clock to knock off the top-ranked Bison 19-17 on their home turf. A touchdown was after SDSU came up empty in the previous three red zone possessions, two resulting in a turnover on downs and the third on an interception in the end zone. But South Dakota State's defense was the key in the fourth quarter, holding the Bison to just one 
first down. Jack's QB Taron Christian had a great game, was a huge factor for his team going 24 of 42 for 303 yards and rushing 20 times for 141 yards. So there you have it. The past five years of this intense, emotional, historical rivalry game summed up in about five paragraphs. So those words might not do this special game justice, but they give you a good idea of the recent history. And no matter the score, all of these games have been very fun to watch. But when we come back, our Dakota Marker expert panel is in studio to discuss not only the recent rivalry games, but games dating back even, even further than 2012. We'll talk meaningful moments and key factors heading into specific games when Midco Sports Tonight returns. Midco Sports Tonight, presented by Avera Orthopedics.